uh, devotees here. So we have grown under him. So uh, so many devotees, uh, uh, we have a connection with this one ACS Vero, that is uh, our uh, parent temple. So from there, uh, these centers have been created. So Prabhuji's energy and enthusiasm is very contagious. So whenever you touch him with Prabhu, so the mood, we can carry the mood what on the Prabhuji can. Being a Grahastha devotee, still Prabhuji is doing so much services for this mission. You are a great missionary. I will see part of the conversation is taking your blessing so that we can also become a sincere devotee and get every passing day. So, a short intro. Uh, Sudhir Gopal Prabhuji has done his MSEC in industrial engineering from IIT Delhi and is currently working as senior business analytics leader at HP. He has been associated with ISKCON since 1999 and initiated by His Holiness Radha Raj Maharaj. He started sharing the joy of Krishna Conscious from Germany in 2005. He has been supporting various foundation programs in this town, Rashinabiri Delhi Mandir, and Whitefield over the last 18 years. He is having an attraction for Lord Jagannath from his childhood days in Odisha. Along with his family, they long to sing bhajans, kirtans for the glorification of the Lord and his devotees. Everybody will be uh, remembering the, the great kirtan in one of the temples in now. Uh, the Puri Jagannath, so even uh, it's still remembering, uh, we will be able to remember the, the expensive season. We are fortunate to have your association and the presence in our congregation and the real asset of any community of sincere devotees who really wants to advance in Krishna conscious, whose only goal is to attain Krishna. Let's pray together that Lord empowers Prabhuji and his family more and more and keep them protected always. So let's chant one. One month, one moment, sorry, one Maha Mantra for Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you, Guruji. Hare Krishna. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Chaitanya
प्रवेश करते नारे स्पर्श रही तेरा चैतन्य चंद्र लीला ड्रॉप्स and inundate our sky <laughs> that that is uh, the bhakti rasamrita sindhu uh, and from the sindhu we take a bindu that's enough right to get drowned to get flooded that is enough to flood our heart so how many of you are there in last sunday where our sri yogi sir prabhu was talking very beautifully about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, okay. all of you are there, all of you uh, are aware who is God Chaitanya, how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has appeared, why he has appeared, and yes, when Sila uh, Prabhupada, he was there in Atlanta uh, on the 20th February 1975, and some of you have heard uh, that the shortest lecture of Sila Prabhupada. That's up only two minutes, and uh, he sings this Param Karuna, Bahu Duvi Jana, Nitai Gora Chanda. How as Gora and Nitai and the Prabhu, who are not different than Krishna and Balaram, they are the most magnificent Lord, and uh, they are very kind. Uh, and Prabhupada is really speaking you know, from his heart. And during that time, the tears started coming into his eyes. He is saying that uh, he had just uh, gone with that. They had just appeared to reclaim the fallen souls. Yes, Krishna. Uh, he had appeared. Uh, he had established dharma. He had established. Uh, he has given us the principles of Bhagavad Gita. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so they are more kind, they are more merciful than Krishna himself. Because Krishna, he has told that. ये यथा मां प्रकटे नि कामते भजामि ये सर्व धर्मान सर्व धर्म वंश सरेंडर अंतो भी देन आई विल टेक केयर ऑफ योर सिंस इन अ वर्ल्ड बट जैसा हम आप रोहित जी दास फॉर दिस सरेंडर जैसा हम आप रो एंड सी सेइंग दैट ही इज सो काइंड हिज वॉइस वाज चॉक्ड अप दैट ही कुड नॉट से एनीथिंग ही सेड थैंक यू वेरी मच जस्ट टू मी Yes, so it is very difficult for us to understand uh, the depth of Mahaprabhu's mercy. So today, what we will be doing, we will not be speaking so much about Mahaprabhu, but we will be speaking about the devotees of Mahaprabhu. Hari Bo! Because that is the mood of Mahaprabhu himself. You know, he said that you know, I will come as a devotee. to teach everybody you know, how to approach lord krishna and now the devotees the associates of mahaprabhu they have come to teach us how to approach goranga mahaprabhu so we'll just take some acharyas their past times their teachings you know how to really please mahaprabhu how we can really call out goranga goranga That word Goranga, right? That eight letter word Goranga. How we can really, you know, approach Lord Goranga Mahaprabhu. <coughs> so when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, it is mentioned that uh, it was a full moon day, the full moon of Phagun Purnima, and uh, it is mentioned, Akalanka Dora Chandra, Lila Darsha, no. सकालंका चंद्रेला किवा प्रयोजन अर्थात जब जब लूनर एक्लिप्स व्हाई बिकॉज़ आचार्य आर सेइंग दैट व्हेन दिस फुल मून गोरा चंद्र अपीयर अकालंका विदाउट एनी स्पॉट 
but Sri Raghunandan Goswami, he appeared uh, just after you can say Paradai Bhutya of Hussain Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur. And uh, this is from a book called Goranga Virudhavali. Uh, he has written a lot of other books called Sri Goranga Chambu and uh, Sri Radha Damodara Kapya and uh, Radama and Sarasaya and so on. But this verse, you know, especially touch our heart because then, uh, like, if you, if you don't know Sanskrit, right? You know, there are eight Taraks are there, like, you know, like, uh, like uh, Krishna, right? Krishna, 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 you know, or here you can say Gaura, 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 you know, Gaura, 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 right? Like, uh, Krishna, Kedia, Krishna, Go, Krishna, like, you know, like this in the Sanskrit, we have different Taraks, right? So all the Taraks are there in this verse. Like we say for Lord Krishna, there's a very beautiful verse in Sri Krishna Samasta Jagatam, Sri Krishna Saranam Samasta Jagatam, Krishna Vina Kagati, Krishna Vina Kati Nanyati Kalihana, Krishna Yakari Abhinamaha, Krishna Prasati Kala Bhima Pujago, Krishna Shya Saranam Vase, Krishna Bhakti Akhandi Bhavatu, Krishna Tam Eva Asaya. Here, uh, that is saying that oh, Krishna, you are the you know, worthy uh, person to be surrendered. Yeah. And Krishna Vinata Gati, without Krishna, there is no other surrender. Oh, Krishna, you need to remove all the darkness. Oh, Krishna, you know, through you, you know, all the activities get manifested. Oh, Krishna, uh, because of you, even the Kali runs away from you. Oh, Krishna, you know, everything is controlled by you. Oh, Krishna, let me perform my uh, undeviated, unconditional devotional service. <coughs> Krishna, Krishna, Bhakti, Akhandita Bhavati. Oh, Krishna, Kumai Vasari, please be the assistant. In a similar mode, you know, Sri so Raghunathan Goswami, he is saying this beautiful passage. Are you ready to chant this verse? Haribo! I think some of you are not sure. It's a very beautiful verse. Haribo! Haribo! Gaura Sacharita Vrita Vrita Nidhi 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 Gaura Sadaiva Stuve Gaura Sadaiva Stuve Gaura Sadaiva Stuve Gauram Sadai Vastuve Gaurena Pratitam Rahasya Bhajanam Gaurena Pratitam Rahasya Bhajanam Gaurena Pratitam Rahasya Bhajanam Gaurena Pratitam Rahasya Bhajanam Gauraya Sarvam Tate Gauraya Sarvam Tate Gauraya Sarvam Tate Gauraya Sarvam Tate Gauradasthi Kripalu Ratra Naparo Gauradasthi Kripalu Ratra Naparo Gauradasthi Kripalu Ratra Naparo Gaurasya Bhritya Bhavam Gaurasya Bhritya Bhavam Gaurasya Bhritya Bhavam Gaurasya Bhritya Bhavam Gauri Gauram Acharami Bhagavan Gauri Gauram Acharami Bhagavan Gauri Gauram Acharami Bhagavan Gauri Gauram Acharami Bhagavan Gaura Prabhu Rakshama 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 So, with the limited time that we have, we we'll try to understand this verse. And there are eight aspects are there in this verse. And we will see how we can imbibe these eight principles in our life. So it says that Gaura Sancharita Amrita Amrita Nidhi Gauram Sadeva Stuve, Gauram Sadeva. Uh, I pray to God Gaura Mahaprabhu always. Uh, puts, uh, puts Satsaritam Vritam Vritam Nidhi. 
you know, which translated to past times are like a river of nectar, are like a reservoir, leaky mystery, treasure of the river, uh, reservoir. Gauranam Pratitam Rahasya Bhajanam. Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu, he has given this path of confidential devotional service, the mystery. Gauraya Sarvam Dade, Dade, I surrender, I give. And to whom? To Gauranga Mahaprabhu. I completely give out. I completely surrendered to Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gaura Astri Kripar Vatra Nagaro. There is no other worshipful Lord than Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gaurasya Kutya Abhavam. Let me be the servant of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And Gaurai Gaura Maharami Pakavan. And then I want to preach the glories of Mahaprabhu. Gaura Prahorakshama, oh Gaura, please protect me. So now let's proceed further. The first one, Acharya is praying that Gaura Sat Charitam Rita Rita Rita. He was saying this gladden the heart. So Krishna Kagat Goswami is praying in this Adi Gila, second chapter, second verse. Once again, very beautiful verse. Krishna Kirtana Kana 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 Pato Jani Kajina Sadhatta Vali Hamsa Chakrama Dupa Sri Vihara Svatam Karna Namsi Kala Dvani Mahatume Jiva Maru Prangane Sri Chaitanya Dayani Veda Balasa Lila Sudha Svaduni Here is the first one that Krishna is saying very beautiful prayer. As he is about to write this Magnum Opus, the biography of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is saying that this pastime of Mahaprabhu, they are um, Mithi, uh, once again, uh, they are the uh, reservoir, they are like a river uh, of what? Of uh, why uh, with the water? No, is it? Uh, nectar. Uh, uh, and they are like nectar. Uh, and there, there are very beautiful lotus flowers are there. And not only lotus flowers are there, it's Paho Dane Vajita. Beautiful decorative lotus flowers are there. And on top of the lotus flower, there are, you know, some uh, hamsa, chakra. Uh, there are like you know, hamsas are there, chakras, madhuko, these honeybees are going around. And they are just playing, and they are having fun, and they are releasing, they are, you know, uh, chasing uh, the beautiful nectar river and also this, you know, flowers. And where is my tongue? Which is like a desert. Maru Prangani. Now, how unfortunate I am that there is this nectarian river is flowing. There are so beautiful flowers and this honeybees and uh, you know, swans and so on. But how unfortunate I am that you know, my tongue is like a desert. I am not able to release. You know, I am Krishna Sagra Gosar doing that spring that let that river, you know flow into my tongue yeah. and you know because this honeybees and all these uh, you know, swans right they are you know always absorbed in hearing from each other the pastimes of Mahaprabhu yeah. they are releasing yeah. they are so much of absorbed yeah, in the pastimes of Mahaprabhu and yes uh, once we really you know now, somehow or other, you know, absorb ourselves you know, in hearing and chanting the glories of Mahaprabhu, it will truly gladden our heart. Yeah. That's why it is saying that Gauri Sat Charita Vrita Vrita Niti. We have to uh, uh, drink. Krishna uh, Savita Prasanna once again saying that. Chaitanya Charita Vrita Nitya Kara Pana Jaha Hai De Premananda. He is saying that, oh my dear devotees, 
Please don't read the tennis every time with the only on the word or before and after the word Purnima. Please bring it. Nitya Karapan! Please bring it every day. Because this is the nectar that Mahaprabhu is giving to all of you. And Jaha Hote, Premananda, you will feel that ecstatic love. And once again, Bhakti Tattva Jnana. And uh, so all our Acharya, there's so much of deep desire. Uh, if just now we are hearing how His Holiness Kalam Kalam Swami Maharaj. He used to read every day through our Sam Chaitanya Charitamrita. Every day. Hari Hari. And so many Prabhupada's disciples. Even Chira Prabhupada, when um, he was traveling uh, in Jaladutta, he had a heart attack, and he has uh, written a beautiful note. That after going through so much difficulties with the seasickness, uh, uh, Ocean is writing that yes, I'm going through so much difficulty, but my only companion, only medicine is <laughs> and you know, Jiva Prabhupada was so much obsessed, like in a guess, you know, he had first year given this beautiful teachings of Lord Chaitanya, which you know, talks about the discussion between the five Sambhadas. But apart from that, like Mahaprabhu wanted to give you know, the true Bengali sweet. <laughs> because yes, I'm from Bengal, I wanted to give something sweeter that nobody had experienced ever before. And that's why, uh, what is another sort of Thakur? You know, he used to say that, you know, one day uh, it will come very soon when People of all over the world, they will learn Bengali to relish Chaitanya Charitamrita. And do you know, this is the Chaitanya Charitamrita which is so easily available to all of us. Just like 150 years back, right? there was Bhattivarao Thakur with the father of Bhattivarao Swati Thakur. He was struggling to get a bona fide copy, copy of Chaitanya Charitamrita. He was struggling for years to get uh, just one bona fide copy. So what we are trying to say is that all our Acharyas in our Guru Parampara, they are relish you know, the past times of Guru Mahaprabhu. Yes, uh, um, yes, you know, we should go systematically, you know, we should uh, read Bhagavad Gita uh, to understand the basic philosophy, uh, to understand the instructions of Mahaprabhu. And then we should go forward uh, to read Srimad Bhagavatam, which talks about the activities of law and devotees. And then, yes, you know, we should also look forward eagerly. You know, when I can start reading, you know, you, you see, you know, you know how you know, in the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam and the introduction itself, he had put another brief in the state of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because he was so eager, you know, how people will. Now understand Bhagavata without understanding Mahaprabhu. So that is his mood. And yes, you know, Chaitanya Charitamrita talks about the compassionate, you know, the devotion and disposition of the devotees of the Lord. And the devotion, like how a devotee prays, how the devotee approaches the Lord, and what the activities he does like to please the Lord. And yes, and uh, in the same mood, like Prabhupada was uh, translating in Srimad Bhagavatam. But then in between he said that no, no, I have to give uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Then he paused and he started, you know, the marathon speed in you know, translating Chaitanya Charitamrita. You know, there are around 11,000 verses, uh, 11,500 verses are there. You know. And somehow they had published one uh, uh, volume of Chaitanya Charitamrita, the publishing the BBCD. And there were another, you know, 17 volumes remaining. Right? And, uh, Prabhupada was really worried, you know, when all this will be published, it's when my devotees, one of the followers, they will be able to release, you know. And then the devotees came forward and said, yes, Prabhupada, you know, our uh, rate of production is that we produce one book in two months. So in another two years, in, what, two months? <laughs> <laughs> two years, you have to publish it in two months. <laughs> and the devotees said, impossible, Prabhupada. What Prabhupada said? Impossible is the word in post dictionary. <laughs> That's the kind of the challenge that Prabhupada used to give to you know, his disciples. Uh, 
right? Sometimes they, you know, we think that oh, you know, we should be also during group class time. <laughs> so here we have two months, and all the devotees you know, they think of what to do, but everybody they can really forward huh, to you know, bring this uh, painting team, layout team, praise uh, team. They brought everybody together. And they walk for day and nights in a marathon speed and they published it. And Prabhupada said, all the devotees who are engaged in the seva, they will go back to God and <laughs> yeah. because they are really pleased by the spiritual master. So, yes, uh, uh, this is uh, one of our Acharyas, you know, uh, especially Prabhupada is telling us, uh, especially I wanted to quote this very beautiful uh, purport. Where Prabhupada is saying that this is like Amruta, like same mood also. Kulasekar Alwari is saying, Eta di Ascharya Manusha Loki, Sudham Paritajya Bisham. Our Acharyas have given so much, so much nectar, but what are you doing? Bisham Pivanti. We are drinking poison. Bisham is Bisaya. We are engrossed in Bisaya. Indriya Prasthi. So Prabhupada is saying that, you know, if you don't read these books, which has been all, all the books that has been translated, and you will just, you know, eat and sleep, and as a matter of time, you will fall down. So yes, you know, we might be there in somewhere. But, you know, it really pains, you know, our Acharyas. And when they see that, like, you know, we bring the books and keep the books. Actually, you know, like, I'm not joking, right? This last week, right? Last week, uh, we visited one devotee's house who's been practicing for a you know, good amount of time, more than a decade. And uh, we said that, okay, the case is bring your gentle and gentle and then he brought it as it is. With a quick covering, not with the plastic. <laughs> and then we were thinking that our, uh, like recently, I came to know that Mohini Mandir is a very good chair. Board meeting that we had in our side. She has spent so many. And she would be preparing so many items, so many chapman book uh, for the Lord and of course for the you know, family. Right? And then the kid will say, Mommy, I don't like this book. <laughs> what will the heart of the mother? Right? What I tell you, she will feel. No, I put so much of effort so that you will feel. No, no, no. I like this kurkure chips. <laughs> <laughs> I put so much effort in preparing all this for you. Right? And you say, I like to do it. Right? Or like, you know, sometimes in the office, right? you work so much, so much, and design a beautiful product. Right? And we had, we had you offer it to the manager, and the manager says, no, no, no. It just ignores it. How do you feel it? How do you feel it? Our Ajahn, especially Shila Prabhupada, like, Krishna's Kavira Goswami, you know, he is saying that, you know, Ami Buddha Jara Adura Andha Vadira Haste Hale Mana Buddhi Nahe Rahe Shira. In that condition, you know, in such an old age, you know, he is not able to see, he is not able to hear anything. At that stage, he has written Chaitanya Charitamrita for all of us, isn't it? For all of us to repeat. But what are you doing? You are just keeping it as it is. That we have all the time for reading uh, what's the messages and the newspapers. Right? Isn't it so painful for our Ajaniyas? They are saying, please drink this nectar. You know, just a drop. Right? Really sick, really sick, really sick. You know, that's why you know, Prabhupada is saying, please, you know, I have given these books for you to release. You know, so that you can enjoy these books. You know, like grandfather always wants you know, the children to enjoy. Right? But you know, he has kept a so big treasure, Nidhi. Right? Amratara Nidhi. And we are just searching for some. Poison, so we say up to come. How unfortunate we are. So, yes, uh, we should be determined. We should make a vow. Somehow or other, we should keep our get it as <laughs> Yes, uh, yes, uh, this is the most dangerous enemy of this world today. Which is the most dangerous enemy? 
We think that it's a dangerous enemy only for our kids, not for us. <laughs> Right, yes, it is for everybody. Right, yes, we should be very careful as we are handling this, you know, this is the most difficult enemy that we are always getting. <laughs> right, so, some point of time, we should really keep it as it is. You know, we should keep the mobile as it is. Just focus, you know, there is our hearing and chanting, you know, and a prayer should be to the heart. Are we aligned on this? That how uh, Mahaprabhu and all our Acharyas they have given this nectar and we have to release this nectar. Okay, now next one. Gauram Sadevas Tuve. So we have to pray to Mahaprabhu only on Gaur Purnima day. <laughs> or only maybe in the Sandhya Arati, sometimes some houses will do it. But Acharya is saying, was to be. So, yeah. what is the reason of Mahaprabhu's appearance? Last Sunday we discussed, right? What is the reason? To give Krishna pain. And what are the other reasons? Three explanation, three interviews. Yes, what are the one of the, especially the chapter three last time we talked about? What are the main reason? Yes. To relish Radha Rani. Yes. Yeah. There is an internal reason. The desire of devotees like Advaita Acharya. Desires of devotees like Advaita Acharya. Right? We are also praying to the Lord. Right? No, oh Lord, oh Gora Mahaprabhu, please appear in my heart. But still, I am not able to experience. But what is so special about Advaita Acharya? How he prayed that Gora Mahaprabhu was you know, blissfully enjoying in his Navajit. You know, Spiritual world, you know, he appeared in this material world. Because Mahaprabhu, he himself says, Oh Nada, you know, oh Advaita, because of your prayers, I have come to this you know, world. What is so special about Advaita Acharya's prayers? What is so special? Anybody knows? Intensity, devotion. Yes, Mataji said intensity of devotion. Very good, excellent. What else? Desperation, yes, yes. No. Very beautifully, Krishna's Kavira Goswami, he says that the, he had these four components in his prayer. You would like to know? Yes. We would like to bring this in our prayers as well. Once he prayed to the Lord, because his prayers, you know, these are really you know, outpouring of loving emotions to the Lord. And through their prayers, we can connect, you know, from this material world to the spiritual world. Uh, these prayers can really help us, really connecting us uh, from our heart to the Lord. Because you know, otherwise, most of the times, it becomes a head knowledge. You know, only information, information. But our objective, you know, it has to go to the heart. Our heart will get melted. So, here, uh, very beautifully, Krishna Skavriya Goswami is saying that, what are the four components of Adit Acharya's prayer? Sutta Bhave Kariva Krishnera Aradhana Nirantara Sadhane Kariva Nivedana Krishnera Avana Kare Kariya Hunkara Eimate Krishnera Karaila Avatara Eimate Krishnera Karaila Avatara In this way, he brought Krishna to this material world. And what is, how he prayed? First, Sutta Bhave with the purity of the four. Once we call out from our heart, that's why the Pantheon always used to say, you know, chant not from the lips but from the heart. With a pure motive that, oh God, you know, it's not that I want something from you, I want you. Or I think it's a Krishna se mat mango, Krishna ko hi mango. How unfortunate we are, we are just asking for the energies of the Lord, right? Like we always. Here in our Gita course, how Arjuna and Duryodhana you went to Krishna. But all our life, you know, we want to oh Krishna, where I get problem, where I more problem, please, you know, uh, engage in my service. <laughs> 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 we, we go there like this, you know, 
वो ऑफिस में ये प्रॉब्लम है घर पे ये प्रॉब्लम है तो सेवा करो या इधर उधर मत भेजो हां तो मैं आ जा रहा हूं तुम तुम देयर ओनली डिजायर टू प्लीज व्हाट इज रियली प्लीज आवर आचार्य हां दैट इज अ सुख भाव करीने कृष्णा आराधना नचावे देवी यूज्ड टू अदर आचार्य यूज्ड टू प्रे एंड ही यूज्ड टू प्रे ओनली वंस निरंतर what is the meaning of nirantar yes. no answer right an uninterrupted uh, it's not that only when things are favorable i'll pray to you right or when things are unfavorable i'll pray to you otherwise i'll just leave you right? and then sadhan me right what is sadhan me means right? humble heart right unless we have the humility in our heart we cannot approach the supreme lord and that last as mata ji said then the punkar go ranga ranga so he has taught us the four components of prayer you should remember whenever coming in front of the lord to pray right in the beginning of his uh, like both guru puja or beginning of the day end of the day whichever time whichever place it is you know and um, are you really bringing this purity humility you know the spontaneity of our devotional service and the intensity in our seva yes this is how our acharyas have told us that this is the house that propa has told us huh is rudenandas baba ji maharaj you know he remembered that how he was staying close by to ratha damodar temple and he says that you know i remember in the year of 64 65 when the prophet was staying in the temple temple and every night at 1 or 2 o'clock you know he used to hear some crying voice and then i don't know maybe somebody is crying somewhere i don't know for whatever reason and then one day he said to look let me see who is crying here at this spot of time and then he went and he saw that what he saw prophet the prophet he was sweeping at the courtyard of you know rupa goswami samadhi and he was crying out you know oh rupa oh sanatan oh gurudev oh gauranga please engage me in your service you know, my gurudev has given me this service to pray how can i do it you know, every day in the tears of his voice in tears oh is talked of every day he was praying is this prayer really bridges between our ability and the aspiration of the devotee right you know without ability what we can do right but then this prayer is a bridge which really connects right with that unlimited the capabilities you know that anybody can think of eka ki amara nahi paya wala no 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 we cannot do anything right but with the mercy you know, that is really flowing from this guru parampara from the acharya yes krishna sakti bina nahi tare pravartan you know unless we are powered by krishna we cannot do anything so yes humility you know is a very key component here you know how we should think that he is as the servant and i don't deserve anything and my only desire is to serve him next what is acharya saying here ramanandan goswami gore na pratitam rahasya bhajanam Let's understand the mystery. Right? The Mahaprabhu has given us, you know, this beautiful principle. That Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahi Hamne. How <coughs> Krishna Sthavraj Goswami explained very beautifully that Yat Advaitam Brahma Bhagavatam Devi like you know this our. In the scriptures, the Vedas, they talk about the, you know, the Brahman, or they talk about the Paramatma, or they talk about the Bhagavan. The same, right? Brahman, Paramatma, Bhagavan. You know, these are all different than that. You know, Mahaprabhu. Sometimes, you know, in this, we don't understand what is this Brahman, Paramatma, you know, Bhagavan, these are all. And one time, you know, we are giving this example. So, what is your dear sweet of? That you really relish, bro? Is it? No, no, no. Ravi, Mr. Pan, Rasagulla. Now we know what bro is like. 
So let's say you know Mataji has offered to Goranga Mahaprabhu. What is you know how much of a Rasagula? So we have to trick very good. It's dependent on his form. Now Rasagula has been offered to the Lord. And uh, now, you know, Prabhuji sees that in the flavor of Rasagulla, right, the sasra that we can keep, you know, is coming out. And then, now it has appeared, now in front of the Lord. Now, not only we can, you know, uh, smell the fragrance, but now also we can see it through the eyes. And then once it is offered, then it comes to the plate. Then we can release it. Right? The three different of realizations. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Brahman is yes, but is the Anubha is the abundance of the Lord and the Paramatma is the Paramatma teacher of the Lord. Right? Bhagavan, right? Is the Sampurna Bhagavan, you know, with whom everything, like once we eat the Rasagulla, right? You can, you know, yes, you know actually how exactly it smells so nicely. You can also, you know, see also how spherical, how beautiful, spongy, you know, it is. And then also you can realize how testy it is. Are you going to complete realization? Right? And the same complete realization of the Supreme Lord right, is available through the mercy of Satan Mahaprabhu Ki. And then the Lord said that okay, you know, this beautiful Rasgulla, I know that this devotees are releasing so much. But somehow I'm not able to release Rasgulla things. That I am not able to release how testy I am. How? Rasagula thing, how testy I am. What are the components is there? You know, I don't know. You know Mataji because he brought something, but I still I don't know. What is that component which really brings that sweetness, you know, that juiciness? Right? And how the devotee releases, you know, this Rasagula. I'm not able to understand. Right? To understand all this, to understand what? Radha, Radha Krishna Pranaya Mahima Radha Krishna Pranaya Mahima Chitra Shavana Iva Sadhya Yena Sudha Madurima Chitra Shavana Iva He is saying that, you know, Lord Krishna is trying to understand what is that? Pranaya Mahima, what is that love of Radha Rani? I want to understand. And then you want to understand? Swadhyu yena adhuta madhurima When Radharan tests right, the love, right, once he comes in, you know, association with what exactly the love he releases. And then she's trying to understand, you know, what exactly, so kyam jasya madhana bhavad, you know, what kind of happiness he is getting, right, when, you know, she, you know, comes, right, in a kidrasam veti lova. So, just to understand the sweetness of Rasagulla, right? Rasagulla comes, right, as a, you know, as a person, right, to release the Rasagulla, right? So, Lord Krishna is saying that I don't know what is the love of my devotees, especially Radharani, you know, I have come here, you know, to release that love of Radharani. So, you see, Radha Bhava Jiti Subhanita, no me, Krishna, so. You know, Krishna is not different than the Krishna. With Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not different than Krishna in the bhava and beauty, in the emotions and the effulgence of Radha. Right? Yes, you know, our Shastras glorifies a lot about the Naam. Nikila Sruti Niratma Mala Sruti Nirajita Pada Pankajanta Ei mukta kule rupasya mana parita swam harinama samsrayami. You know, all the Upanishads, Vedas, they are worshipping the effulgence that is coming from the toenail of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu is Harinam Prabhu. Right? This is so much glory of the holy name of the Lord is given. And, and here, that same Lord, you know. Was really distributed by none other than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But he has not only given his name. The last, I think, Asim Krishna Maharaj was here in our ITC center. And the one day would he ask, right? Nobody asked, right? Yes, I know. Earlier also, 
earlier also he had Nam. But what is so special about Mahaprabhu? Right? Maharaj was saying that, yes, earlier also there was Nam, but there was no Prem. But then the Mahaprabhu, he started distributing the Nam with Prem. That is the so special. You know, that's why, you know, uh, King Pratap he's saying that, you know, oh, you know, I see that Aishya Dutya, Aishya Dutya, Kabhi Nai Devi. No, this kind of a Kirtan, this kind of a so Madhur Vachan, you know, I have not seen it anywhere. This is Sarva Bhattacharya said, you know, this is Chaitanya Srishti Jai, Prema Sankirtan. This is not ordinary Sankirtan. This is Prema Sankirtan. Yeah, Mahaprabhu has given that love. Right? In this so that's why anybody comes in touch with this Hare Krishna Mahamudra, they start chanting and dancing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, 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 Apani Ajari is the most important thing, you know, by uh, doing, right, like this writing. So the teacher writes A, B, C, D, and the, uh, similarly, the Lord also comes to teach us how to do this process of bhakti. So, yes, this mystery for all of us, because right, this, <laughs> one devotee was saying that, you know, uh, one devotee had visited our manor temple, he saw this beautiful Radha Krishna deity, and uh, then we have also Ram Laxman Sita, and then we have on the other side, you know, Gorvita. And he was introducing, oh, it's Radha Krishna Deity, you know, this Ram Laxman Sita, you know, this Love Puss. <laughs> <laughs> like most of the people, even in India, also, right, forget about some part, you know, hardly anybody knows Gorvita and right? how unfortunate they are, how unfortunate they are. And, uh, Baba Avatara Sara Siramani Kevala Ananda Kanda. It is a completely, you know, Sara of the Prema is there, but somehow, unfortunately, people they are not able to release and understand going to where, you know, whose you know, appearance with glories are described throughout the scriptures, but, you know, he comes in this Kaliya where the Channa Avatar, there is a hidden information that they are not able to understand. But yes, the devotees of the Lord, they are able to release. Yeah? Uh, by coming in touch and serving you know, Sriman Mahaprabhu. Okay, next, we'll proceed a little further. I think we are running out of time. In fourth principle, he is saying that Gauraya Sarvam Dade. Yes, you know, we have to surrender to the Lord completely. Of course, there is a very beautiful pastime of Sarvam Bhattacharya, we will not discuss in detail. How? He is none other than Bhuvaspati. He was so uh, big scholar. You know, he knew all the sadras, all the sardarsanas. Right? And when and he had a desire, you know, when he saw Mahaprabhu, that okay, I want to be Sridanda Sutra. And then how Mahaprabhu he really transformed his heart, right? Not just by debating, but first through his humility and then right through very beautifully describing the essence of Vedanta Sutra to Sumat Bhagavata. And then uh, Mahaprabhu being pleased, you know, with his behavior, you know, he sold him the Sadhu, Sadhu Puja deity. You know, and last year we had been to Maya, uh, Puri. You know, we have seen this Sadhu Puja deity. How many of you have seen? Yeah. Yes, uh, only few. Uh, should go once again there. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes, you know. Right? The purpose of the eye is to really have the son of the Lord. The purpose of the ears to hear the glories of the Lord. The purpose of the legs to go, go to the arms of the Lord. What is the use of it otherwise? Right? And especially once you stand near Guruda Stamba. Right? You stand near Guruda Stamba on this on the right hand side on the pillar only you can see Sarvuja Deity. And you go to Dakhina Dwara, there's a beautiful big deity of Sarvuja Goranga. And then there are so many places in the temple that you see, you know. This same Sarvaja Gauranga Mahaprabhu is there, you know, establishing the supremacy of Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then, you know, of course, uh, Sarvam Bhattacharya, once he was overwhelmed, you know, with his ecstatic love for Gauranga Mahaprabhu, he composed 100 verses in 24 minutes, Eka Dandare, you know, it is because 100 verses 
original verses in composed. Now, for us, it takes maybe 24 years to remember other <laughs> verses. So here, you know, he's praying that Vairagya Vidya Nidha Bhakti Yoga Siksartha Meko Purusha Purana Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sarira Dhari Kripam Budhir Yastamaham Prapadhi Kripam Budhir, you know, oh Lord, you are Kripam Budhir, you are the ocean of the Kripa, you know, I surrender unto you, I surrender unto your faith. And you are so much surrendered, right, you know, what is this very beautiful sloka? Uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam, like Brahma's prayer, Tatayu Kampasu Samiksa Mahana. The last verse is Bhakti Daya Bhak, right? It says that, you know, like Mukti Padesa Daya Bhak, right? It says that, you know, once we uh, take surrender uh, to the Supreme Lord, you know, with presence, and the considering whatever the difficulties come, says that, like, you know, our own karma, right? And then Mukti Padesa Daya Bhak, you become eligible to go to uh, this spiritual abode, right? But then, because so, Tantaria is really from, like, you know, this impersonalist, you know. But after coming in touch with Mahaprabhu, he really, you know, disliked, hated this word called Mukti. <laughs> he said, you know, Mahaprabhu, you know, I changed this verse, you know, it should be Mukti Pade, it should be Mukti Pade. <laughs> See, like, you know, like a devotee, they want to do, you know, do everything, right, for the pleasure of the Lord. Of course, Mahaprabhu said, you know, you cannot change the verse like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> Just the written, but the original you know, meaning of the smukti is, you know, Yes, you know, being situated in the original position and servant of the God is real bhukti. Right? Uh, I was remembering, you know, there was one devotee uh, uh, called one Mohini Mataji, uh, a proper disciple. Uh, so, you know, she got married, uh, one devotee, and as usual, Prabhupada asked, you know, now you should take uh, blessings of your parents. She called, you know, her mother. Mother, mother, you know, I got married. I don't know, I want to take your blessings. Oh, very good, very good. Thank you for informing me at least. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, by the way, what is your husband's name? Oh, husband said, oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> and then the mother said, are you nuts? You don't know your husband's name? Because <laughs> she wanted to tell you, right? Right? Like, what is the medical call me name? Right? So that, you know, her mother can do it. It is unimaginable, right? The kind of you know, surrender of Sala Prabhupada's disciples, right? You know, like whatever Prabhupada says, yes, there is nothing else that you should think about. Okay, you know, you should really marry this boy or this girl. Okay, Prabhupada, yes, sir. Right? This is the kind of you know, surrender they had, right? And uh, you know, how uh, it like, uh, like Chaitanya. Mahaprabhu really talks about the shadow of you know, six aspects of surrender. One of the you know, only mood is that we will do whatever is favorable for Devasana service. And we will reject what is unfavorable to Devasana service. And we have to form faith. The surrender means form faith that Krishna will protect us. And go for the paper of the Oh Lord, you are really everything for us. So uh, this is the kind of you know, how Siddha Prabhupada and his disciples. And now they had sold us. You know, there is one more uh, disciple, you know, Sula Prabhupada, called Alhadini Mataji. And she was so mad, you know. Uh, <laughs> she was worshipping in Yudhundavan, Jagannath Vajra Subhadra, and also worshipping Gormita. And uh, Nityananda Prabhu was coming in her dream and saying that, What are you doing here? You know, always you know, offering uh, lamps and doing, you know, ringing bells and so on. You should go out and preach. Right? And Valdev, you know, he was coming in a dream, saying that, don't go anywhere. You know, <laughs> you should stay in the temple and serve the Lord. And you know, you think, what should I do? And then, you know, next day also, kind of, she was not knowing what to do. And then, kind of an approach to one of her God brother. You know, what to do? And then, God also, you know, very transcendental. <laughs> First time with the Lord. <laughs> But finally, after we came up on the tiny down, the group prevailed. And now she started going out. <laughs> right? So different devotees have a different group to serve. But this devotee is Aladdin and Mataji. She was going with the devotees to distribute books. And especially in the US, there were some times very difficult to distribute. Right? Prabhupada's book. And, uh, but the devotees, they were going with uh, Prabhupada and uh, like Prabhupada's books. And then they were saying that, yes, you know, how can we go alone? You know, 
the master who has given us the order, we have to take him also. So they were taking this government identity also. And one time the police came and said, you know, what are you doing here? You know, we don't have permission, get out. No, we cannot go out. You know, we are following our master. <laughs> right? Okay, so if you are not following the government's order, we will arrest you. If you want to arrest us, you know, arrest our master also. <laughs> That is the first time the history that Gaur Mita also went to jail. <laughs> but then this Mataji was so, so sincere. Right? You know, whoever that is, Ekho Tare Kaur, you know, Gaur Upadesh. You know, so whoever she was meeting, she was talking about Gaur Anga! Gaur Anga! Gaur Anga! And then she came right, into this court and the judge asked, what are you doing? All that. And then the CEO only kind of a acted as an advocate and she started glorifying you know Gaur Mita and just said no you please go ahead yes this is like it might be kind of thinking that uh, this was a fanatical or you know sentimentalism but it's all about faith you know this little that Thakur that way saying so Dura Vishwasa Kari you know we have to surrender to the Lord but thinking that there is no other center for us than the center of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and you know that's the mode of surrender. And we see that once we surrender to the Lord, He will do His magic, He will do His miracle in our life. And yes, we don't understand. There is no other Lord who is more merciful than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes, we should appreciate the mercy. How He could transform the animals? Of course, the Lord is not telling us to transform the animals. Tigers and deers, they come together and they tease each other. Uh, but at least, you know, we can teach to the human beings, not to the animals, right? So that they can stay in their house together. <laughs> because you see, if we once again paints, you know, the devotee's heart when they see that how the houses are breaking apart. Right? Forget about, you know, this love of Godhead. Even now, they are not able to stay together at home. So painful, so much you know, disturbance at home, in the office. You know, at heart, right? But then, you know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given us this nectar to all of us. You know, please take it. You know? uh, so, this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying that, you know, Malakara Swayam Krishna Vema Mala Swayam Prabhu Swayam Data Bhakta Tapalana Yam Chaitanya Prabhu Aswai. Krishna Spakarat Goswami is saying that this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a gardener, you know, who is, who is sowing the seed of Bhakti Lata. And he is also Prema Mara Taru Swayam. He is also the tree of Bhakti, what is called Bhakti Riksha. Right? And he is also Data and Bhokta. He is also, once the Bhakti Riksha is coming up, then he is distributing uh, the Prema Pana to everybody. And not only that, Bhokta, he is also releasing it. So he is doing the four roles. Anybody is doing these four roles? Yeah. He is gardener who is really you know, sowing the seed and you know, offering this water and Nutrients and then he is also the tree with the whole substance which really gives the flavor, uh, phala, right? And then and he is also testing, oh, how sweet it is, oh, hello, hello, <laughs> right? And then not only he is testing, he is saying, oh, it's so sweet, now let's be distributed everywhere. That is so magnificent and the characteristic of the Lord. And what we can really describe about the frame of phala who is described, you know, who is he distributing? They say that, you know, Prihu Vala Ratna also, you know, we cannot compare. But one frame of color that is really coming out from this Bhakti Viksha. That's why you know, this Koranga is coming through the Akhand, you know, and the Koronavataro, they are the most merciful incarnations of the Supreme Lord. Yes. <laughs> like how Acharya is saying that you know, Lord Narsimha, yes, you know, he is very, very powerful and uh, he is a Purusottama. Uh, Lord Ramachandra, he came with the Mariyala Purusottama. Uh, he is so beautiful. Right? And uh, our uh, Lord Krishna is a Mila you know, Purusha He is a powerful, he is a beautiful, and he is also merciful. How he delivered Putana also. But then when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he appeared as Prema Purusha Tama Bhagavan, he is not only powerful, he is beautiful, he is merciful, and he is also most merciful. And we are so fortunate to be connected to Sri Siddhartha. How fortunate we are. And yes, Vishwas Kavaraj Goswami is saying, Sri Chaitanya, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Daya Karaho Vijara Vijara Karimeji Tepai Vijamatkar. Please think. You know, 
श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य ना दया करो थोड़ा सा तो सोचो दया करो विचार विचार करे चिंते भाई में चमत्कार Dorasya Prithya Abhava, the devotee's only desire is to be a uh, servant. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we should be also very cognizant about how we should not be a servant, uh, like all the associate is given. Uh, like Kale Krishna Das, how many of you heard Kale Krishna Das, one of the associates of Mahaprabhu? You have already read it? How oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was going to the South India too. And his associate was Kale Krishna Das. And he was seeing how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, wherever he was going, he was uh, giving the love of God and he was transforming everybody. And he saw that how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he showed his Sarvuja form to Ramananda Rai, and, uh, how he transformed, you know, this uh, Buddhis and so on. And at the same time, when Mahaprabhu and Kali Sundar they were passing through this Malaya days, and they came a group of Bhattaharis. And somehow, these Bhattaharis, you know, they captured, you know, through some allurement, this Kali Krishna Das. And, and here we can see that how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I don't know, he said that, you know, how you are taking my associates and the leaf, you know, pulled you know, Kali Krishna Das with his you know, hair. And then, of course, these Bhattaharis were all destroyed you know, by the power of Mahaprabhu's glance. But then once they came back to Puri, you know, Mahaprabhu told all his associates, you see Kali Krishna Das, you know, he was with me, uh, but you know, somehow he was distracted you know, by the endearment of the Bhattaharis. Now we don't want to see him anymore. But then, Vijayana Prabhu, now the Pandey, Nagadanandara, Nagadanandara, said, okay, you know, how can we really now engage Kali Krishna Das? You know? He said, okay, it's very sad right, that Mahaprabhu has injected you, but don't worry. You know? Now you go to Navadhi and you only know all the pastimes of Mahaprabhu in South India too. You go and talk about them. So how even sometimes, you know, the Lord rejects, but the devotees of the Lord, they are never rejected. So that's why, you know, Krishna Prabhupada Goswami is saying that, you know, Chaitanya Charana Ambhoje, you know, Madhu Pethyo Namo Nama. Yes, I'm Prasadi Pa, Matrena, Pamara, Yamoro, Havari, Pamara, Yamara, even a Pamara becomes Amara, even the most, you know, lowest person, becomes the most elevated person by the mercy of the devotees of the Lord who are always licking the honey that is coming from the Lord of Spirit of Mahaprabhu. Dora Hakta Vrindaki! And this is another past tense of the Lord of Balavatra Bhattacharya also. Wow. Now, he was also one of the associates like you know, Kali Krishna Das was there in South India too. And uh, Paramatra Bhattacharya, he was there for North India too, while Mahaprabhu was going to Vrindavan. And Mahaprabhu appreciates Paramatra Bhattacharya. He's a very sweet of Sobhya, and he's really helping a lot. But well, usually, once you hear about Bhagavad Gita or the Krishna and the Master, it's not that Arjuna right, is in an illusion or he doesn't know what to do. But you know, they are just, you know, Following this pastime to glorify the Lord, to bring this Bhagavad Gita. Similarly, you know, while learning, while hearing this pastime, we should not underestimate right, the associates of Mahaprabhu. You know, they are just giving us a, you know, a lesson so that you know, we can you know, learn from them and we can really you know, follow them. So he is here, Balavadra Bhattacharya, once he came to Mahaprabhu. And he said, Oh Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu, do you know that? You know, I have heard that in uh, Yamuna, in the night, Krishna is dancing on top of Kaliya. And Chaitanya uh, Mahaprabhu said, you know, like, yes, Krishna was there, you know, he was there in Dwapar Yuga, and he was dancing. You know, in the Kali Yuga, Krishna doesn't come and Krishna doesn't dance. And uh, you know, just telling that, he kind of just slapped him. <laughs> but kind of a nonsense thing he was telling. And the next day, you know, the, all the residents of branch they came and said, that, yes, yes, you know, he was not a uh, he was not a Kaliya, he was not a Krishna. 
but there was a boatman he was going in the night to you know or fishing <laughs> right the lamp was going like you know this kaliya and then you know that boatman he was going like like krishna right and then you know mahaprabhu is teaching to the pastor and they don't just believe you know whoever or whatever somebody said you know our only you know focus only benchmark should be this guru sadhu word shastra otherwise we will commit a mistake we we'll think ordinary to extraordinary and extraordinary person to ordinary person so we think that mahaprabhu is ordinary and the ordinary person to be extraordinary right and then last word one right what he is saying gaura gaurava acharami bhagavan right we need to glorify gauranga mahaprabhu how to glorify gauranga mahaprabhu how to glorify gauranga mahaprabhu He is Namo Mahabhadra and Krishna Prasada. I think how we can glorify, how we can really play our part. We have to play. Very good, very good, very good. You know. So Nityananda Prabhu once he saw this guy in the market, you know what he said? Ei do yere Prabhu yadi ano graha kare tabe se prabhava dekhe sakala samsare. Once this two materials, two tokas, right, two jaga and madai, once these two will be delivered. Then everybody will know the mercy of Goranga <laughs> Mahaprabhu. Like, you know, people would like to be challenged. <laughs> right? If we can do it, then everybody can understand the glories of Prabhupada. Then we can understand the glories of Goranga. So thinking that, and with that, the Prabhu you know, delivered. Right? Uh, they say, Tabe, you know, so Jani Manichanada is Tetanera Das. How you know, the devotees go out to preach for what? So that we can be known as the greatest preacher of this earth. We are the Jagata Parita Pavana. Right? The mood here, Vichyananda Prabhu is saying that we preach to glorify the Lord. Right? Prakasa Dekhe Sakala Samsara. So that everybody understands the glories of God Vitae. That is the mood that devotees go out and preach. Not that to be known that, okay. I will be the Jagat Guru. <laughs> right? what, what we can do? You know, we are just an uh, insignificant soul. And then, uh, later on, when Jatana Mahaprabhu is starting a South Indian tour, and uh, Sridhi Prabhu was remembering that past time, right? So last year we had gone to uh, Alwar Nath Mandir, right? We were the chanted Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> right? So in that place, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was dancing so ecstatically and seeing that, Nityananda Prabhu chanted this verse. Dekhi Nityananda Prabhu, kohe bhakta gane. Dekhi Nityananda Prabhu, kohe bhakta gane. Ehi rupa nrutya ke haave grame grame. Ehi rupa nrutya ke haave grame grame. So this is the prediction of Mahaprabhu, like Nityananda Prabhu. This is the prediction of Nityananda Prabhu. Dekhin Nityananda Prabhu, Kohe Bhakta Gana, he is telling all the devotees there. Ehi Rupe Nrutya Age, in this way, you know, Grame Grame, in all the villages, Maharaj Nadi Kundana Hanvi, everywhere, Hape Grame Grame is bound to happen, right? Whether you do it or you do it or somebody else do it, you know, it will happen. Now it's really up to you to take it and disclose it, right? So, Prabhupada is writing there that how we have to preach with conviction that yes, it is bound to happen. It's not that, oh, whether he will take it or not, oh, what will he think, you know. You should not have any doubt. Like, you know, other conviction, Maharaj, once again, he says that, you know, like somehow or other, once I was traveling in a bus and one devotee was distributing Prabhupada's books and he sat next to me, but I was kind of looking like a little hippie. And he thought that, you know, maybe this person will not like this book. He was sitting next to me, but he didn't offer a book to me. <laughs> so, if he could have given me the book, you know, my covered Krishna consciousness could have been, you know, so much earlier. Right? You know, but then after so long, actually, right? And then now somebody got it, that's the devotees. And then, right? 
we can do this kind of stuff. Even in general, we should not speculate whether somebody will take it or not. Somebody will accept this kind of stuff or not. We are bound to come. This is the you know prediction of Mithya and the Prabhu. You know, Lord is saying, Satyam Vidhatam Nija Vrutya Bhaj. You know, Lord is bound to fulfill the words of his devotees. Yeah. Is it not possible? Shouldn't they have that much of faith? Okay. Yes, it's bound to happen. And you are making us realize that. That somebody might be thinking, oh, the people of this place, you know, they might not like it. Yes, it is there. Mahaprabhu, the Sanitamitra's mercy is there. It will happen. It's just a matter of time. But what is required for that? Prabhupada is saying that, you know, you have to very seriously, strictly follow the footsteps of the devotees, you know, of associates of Mahaprabhu. And how to do it? You have to follow huh? the rules and regulations, the four regulations principles, and chant six to law. Just you do it and go out and you know, preach. And you are certainly successful. You will be certainly successful. You should not have any iota of doubt on this. Okay, and then you know, after there's one more pastime of Master Jata, you are so agreeable with how Master Jata, I brought this Mahaprabhu. Now they go, Mahaprabhu, you know, I, like my heart really breaks down seeing that you know, sinful activities and the sinful reactions of so many people. You know, how they will be delivered? You know, oh Lord, you know, Jivira Dukha the Kimara Hudaya Vilare, my heart is bleeding. Sarva Jiva Papa Prabhu Deva Mora Sire. You know, all the sinful reactions keep it in my head. So that Jivira Papa Daya Muri Kara Naraka Bhaga. I want to go to the hell on behalf of them. Right? Sakala Jivira Prabhu Kujava Baba Raga. And you know, please deliver all of them from this disease called Bhavaro. <laughs> From the cycle of birth, please deliver them. And yes, you know, the same thing has to be done with that compassionate heart. Okay, the last one. What is that? You know, at the end, you know, devotees are saying that Gaura Prabhu Rakshama. You know, we should ask for the protection. What is it? To protect our bodies. Or Ajayali is saying that, you know, yes, and the most important thing that, you know, devotee prays, yes, you know, for, to take care of the body, but importantly, you know, for the faith. You know, Faith in the holy name, faith in the sastra, faith in the devotees, right? And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a very beautiful pastime in the Mahaprakash Lila, the Prasad Pranari Lila, the 21 hours of Mahaprakash Lila that he performs. And this beautiful pastime, he tells his you know, teacher, Ganga Das, you know, do you remember you know, long back, even before the appearance of Mahaprabhu, right? And he says, it's a long back when. You know, all the Muslim kings and the soldiers, you know, they were about to attack you and, uh, you know, and uh, destroy the chastity of your, you know, of your daughter and your family. And then you're running, 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 and then you found this, this river Ganga, and you don't know at that point what to do. And you say that, you know, this night is, like, because night and the morning is coming, and they're just about to destroy you, and then you're praying loudly. Raksha kara, Raksha kara, oh Lord, please protect me. Pari kara sange kara para, you know, with all my family members, let me you know, go to the other side of the Ganga. And at that time, you know, Pari Mahaprabhu is reminding, Ganga ya hai te para chiti at that point of time, there was the one boatman king. There was one boatman king, and he took you to the other side. Do you know who was that boatman? <laughs> yes, I was there for you to help you cross over. This river, one of the Parami, Korila Tomar, to deliver you, I was there. Hmm. And yes, Lord is always there, right, to protect the nation of the faith of the devotee, right? And uh, there are so many other pastimes, how, you know, the faith of uh, Haridas Thakur, you know, how he was saying that, you know, Khande, Khanda, Hari Deha, Ja Yali Pad, there was a you know, the Muslim king, he wanted to. Uh, Tell the Haridas Thakur, you know, please stop chanting this holy name of the Lord. But Haridas Thakur was saying that, you know, whatever happens, let my all my body be cut into the pieces. I don't care. Right? But I always want to chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This is the determination of a devotee. Whatever happens, I do not stop chanting the holy name. So once again, let's revise. What is that beautiful verse? Let's chant it together. This verse first. Gaura satchari tamrita vrita niti gauram sadeva sude gaurena pratitam rahasya bhajana 
Harishan Prabhuji, thanks for the wonderful uh, session and nourishing everyone's uh, Sunday morning. I think uh, everyone is going to uh, meditate on this eight aspects of approaching uh, Lord Gauranga. And also, the UKD uh, told about the importance of uh, reading what our Acharya, the Krishna Prabhupada, has put efforts in uh, translating all these uh, great literatures in English so that everyone can read. So, I think uh, we all should meditate on that and make sure that we read all the books of Srila Prabhupada. Uh, so let's chant one time uh, Hare Krishna Mahamantra for Prabhuji's uh, health and Prabhuji's uh, success in uh, all his preaching and others. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Prabhuji, we request that you come here often and. <laughs> Uh, do we have any newcomers today? First time. Please come. Please come here. A few announcements. Uh, next Saturday will be Papa uh, Mochini Ekadasi. So I request everyone to make use of uh, Ekadasi Day. And today's uh, Prasharam is sponsored by uh, Manmohan Prabhu. So I request everyone to chant uh, for Prabhu Ji's and uh, uh, the spiritual program. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Uh, uh, Sumit Prabhuji, we just started our Bhakti Rishas, so we had around nine Bhakti Rishas, it started from last week and then we are also doing nine Bhakti Rishas and also we uh, happening in both Sajapur and uh, uh, Panadur and also we have started Bhakti Prada at the school here. Yeah. Yeah. So we will now proceed for Aarti and then Prashara. Uh, and we will also have a Pushpa Abhishek. Ask Gita Kosh, we can probably come to film or the next camera. 